It is in the East Anglian Staffordshire Bull Terrier display team. This is a breed that unfortunately gets a lot of publicity for the wrong reasons. But I'm hoping and I know that Christina, who I'm going to hand over to now, is going to change your mind. They're absolutely fantastic. East Anglian Staffordshire Bull Terrier display team. Thanks very much. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, you've never seen Staffords like this before. Uh, first in the ring, we've got Mizen, and Mizen is three years old and a very posh Essex girl. When Staffords get into this kind of thing, they really do enjoy it. They don't always do what they're supposed to do, but mostly they have a great deal of fun. Mizzen is actually known as the Lara Croft of the Stafford world because she very easily scales any gates or fences or gets in her way and she loves swimming. And she likes to comment on the way round as well. Thank you, Mizzen. Thank you. Now, Maddie's coming in from the far side. Maddie is five years old and her registered name, would you believe, is Jenny Casto Bottoms Up. She lives with Rachel, um, her Stafford brother, Amber, and Rachel's older dog. Uh, she's a very naughty dog. I don't think she's naughty, I think she just has lots of character. And she certainly enjoys this kind of thing. And she loves fly ball, which is what she's doing for you now. So don't blink, you might miss her. She does compete with the Phantoms fly ball team. And I think fly is the operative part for this little girl. That's it, go Maddie. Whoops. Right, one more. Let's see if you can make this a really fast one, Maddie. And cheer her on if you like, folks. Hey, well done, Maddie. We have Roxy now coming in just behind me. Roxy is three years old and she's going to de demonstrate her balancing skills and leg weaving moves. Roxy competes in agility full time and she is currently grade five. And on the far side of the ring, we have Dixie. Dixie is officially known as Corbenic's In It To Win It. So she's determined to be good at everything she does. She's only 17 months old, so a relative baby. And she's Tina and Pete's first Stafford but she's, they have said definitely she won't be there last. So you see, they'll do anything for a treat. Oh, she's tidying her toys away. Oh, I wish she could come and train my husband to put his away. I don't think she wants the favourite one to go, though. <laughs> right, thank you very much, Dixie. Bearing in mind she's only just 17 months old, that is super. Uh, we've now got a four-year-old Layla coming in, and a seven-year-old Buzz. Layla is on the far side from me, and Buzz is on this side. And Buzz is a bit like Buzz Aldrin. He can go fast when he wants to, but in his own direction. See, Layla's on the other side saying, this is the way to do it. That's it, you take your time, Buzz. Oops. Well, if you've got to go, you've got to go.
No, he said, I've done that one. I don't want to do that one again, Mum. I'll do this one. Yes, but I'm going to do it slowly. See, this is a Stafford character. He can go like Grease Lightning, but not if somebody's watching. Yeah. Yeah. Buzz's best friend is a three-legged multi-poo. He's called Hattie, and he's a great fan of action movies. He's not exactly displaying that at the moment, is he? But he's doing it in his own time. Okay. Do you want to finish him off, please? Oh, she shot him. Oh, poor little dog. It wasn't that slow. Right, we now have Bailey, who's eight years old. Now, Ashley fostered him as a puppy, but as often happens, fell in love with him. So at eight weeks, he just didn't leave, did he? He's on the activity register of the Kennel, the kennel Club, and he is a frequent visitor to the Kennel Club with his owner, Ashley. Oops. And he enjoys his visits too. Ashley works for the Health and Breeder Services Department. Oh, that was a big jump. I didn't think the Grand National was until the end of March, but obviously, Bailey thinks it's now. He's done quite a lot of TV work. He's been in a lot of adverts and in some films, so quite the star, really. His favourite things are his bed or his ball. That was a great round. Thank you, Bailey. Incidentally, Staffordshire Bull Terriers are one of only two breeds recommended to be with children. Of course, you'd never leave a child alone with any breed of dog um, because they're unpredictable. And yes, I do mean the children. But as I say, there's only two breeds that are recommended for children, and this is one of them. We've now got Lewis in the ring. And he's going to show you Temptation Alley. This means lots of favorite toys, humans who obviously they love, and the biggest temptation, a small human. And he's got to come through and ignore them all, including the football. I know England desperately need you, but not today. And we've got, at the beginning, you can see, we have a third member at the other end, Kevin. And Kevin is our little bear who's raising money for welfare. If you'd like to make a donation, you can have Kevin and come and stay with you for a little while. He's having holidays all over while he's raising money for welfare. And Lewis, that was very well done. And on, if you're back here on Saturday, you will see Lewis showing in the breed classes because he is a show dog as well. Next, we have Mice. Mouse is Java Wolf Mighty Mouse, and mighty he is. Um, he has two, receives, two reserve CCs, and he's running today, if you see, with a camera. So there will be some action shots. It will probably be about 10 seconds long at the speed he goes, so if you watch it, put your recorder on slow, or you may miss it. He only needs a little blue cape, doesn't he? I'm sure he could fly. He's a male model. He's appeared in training videos for Dogs Trust and in adverts for Bowden, Bench, and he's also been in EastEnders, so again, quite a star. That's our mighty mouse. Next up, we're having Murray. Murray, again, is a relative youngster, being only 20 months old, and Mouse is his dad. He was born and bred in Holland, and he's the, one of the Quint Quintland Staffordshire Bull Terriers, who we thank for this handsome boy. His, his name, Murray, comes because he's named after Andy Murray. Obviously, mum and dad are fans. 
Um, and he also lives with an Australian Kelpie. He's just starting out on his agility career and we're hoping that he's going to do as proud. It's a nice wait and they all love the tunnel. Right, thank you very much, Murray. And the next two dogs you're going to see are Frank and Squirt. Frank and Squirt are both ex Battersea dogs, but they've certainly landed on their paws with their owners here. Ali, who has Squirt, is the head of canine welfare training at Battersea Dogs and Cats Home, uh, where there's a constant flow of dogs and Squirt lives with two Chihuahuas and two Dobermans. Uh, on this side, we have Frank. Frank was the dog who, a couple of years ago, partnered Paul O'Grady in the obedience. Um, he's showing off some of his tricks on this side. They're very versatile dogs, and Squirt's doing us a nice rollover. They're great fun to live with these dogs. There's never a dull moment and you could save on your TV license because you wouldn't switch it on with one of these in the house. Squirt also is used in education events. Um, he visits schools, young offenders, and he's also been to Belmarsh Prison. He wasn't arrested, he just went to see the inmates. Um, she also loves to visit the Chelsea pensioners. They go once a month because it's good therapy for the pensioners to meet these wonderful little creatures. Frank lives at home with a bull terrier called Roxy, and they both have a tremendous affection for Lexi Pamela, which is Rachel's baby daughter. Two-legged baby, that is. Now we have six-year-old Cleo. Cleo belongs to Kirsty, um, and she's been living with Kirsty since she was about 18 months old. Uh, since Cleo was 18 months old, obviously. Um, you, uh, she lives with Rossi, a Las Rapso, and has been training, competing in agility, and is currently grade five. So quite well upon her way. Kirsty's a dog walker, and Cleo loves joining the other dogs when they have a walk, and loves her breakfast. She also likes singing, as you can hear. Um, you can also hear Belle, she's quite a vocalist. She loves to be seen and heard, so obviously never a dull moment. And she's the, the fruit loop in her family, and her nickname is Nutty Nora. But we all do that, don't we? We spend ages and ages selecting a name for our dogs and then call them something entirely different. Now, this is Monty. Monty is four years old, but mentally he's about four months old. His reason, his name is Swift and Bold. And the reason for this is that it's the motto of the Rifles Regiment, and Monty offered them support during their last tour of Af Afghanistan. The general consensus was, it, was that he could harass the Taliban into submission by his winning little ways, like chewing their ears or jumping all over them. But it's probably fair to say that Monty is, the, is more excitable at the end of the scale. He does enjoy agility, but although he's only a beginner, he's embracing it with all his little doggy heart. If you live in Suffolk, this is one of your neighbours. He lives there with an elderly cat who's now retreated to live upstairs to pres preserve her sanity. Thank you very much, Monty. Um, our next dog in is, we're gonna have Blake. He's gonna show, he's a big fan of Tommy Cooper. So you're gonna see one of his Tommy Cooper tricks. Now Blake is a blue dog, 
And please don't be conned into buying a blue Stafford because it's extremely rare and paying thousands of pounds for it. Because blues are 60% of all Staffords registered. It's not rare at all. It is a regular colour in the breed. So here he goes, cage dog, dog cage. Lock him in the cage, make sure it's securely shut. That's it. A bit like bottle glass, glass bottle. But this time it's dog cage, dog cage. Right, hidden from sight, just like that. He's disappeared. And we know he's locked in the cage, so he can't get out, can he? I think his pet name, oh, thank you for the bow. I think his pet name is Houdini. But he's the clown of our team. He is, um, he has begun to compete in agility, but obviously he's very good at tricks. He's also a show dog, and he too will be competing here in breed classes on Saturday. He lives at home uh, with Darren, his partner, their children, and two other Staffords. And if you want to come and see the dogs afterwards on the benches, come and ask Blake, What's his favourite breed? Because he will tell you. I'm not going to tell you now. You come and talk to him. He will tell you the name of his favourite breed. I kid you not. Bring tissues because you'll cry with laughter when you hear what he says. We've now got bacon. And away from this kind of competition, She's been starring in Dogs Trust videos and she's in the current Pet Plan advert in Blue Peter on Good Morning and Channel 4 drama as top boy, Marley the Dog. And on the far side, we've got Dakota. They get so excited, they don't know what their feet are doing. Dakota and Bacon were both bred by Joe. That's the blonde haired lady. And for the finale, we're going to ask Bacon to jump through a covered hoop. And this is a great supreme act of trust because, as far as the dog is concerned, that could be a brick wall. But he trusts that Joe wouldn't do that to her. She trusts that Joe wouldn't do it. So straight through the middle, because mummy said it's all right. Was that a fluke? We don't know. Let's try it again and see. Now this is a coloured one, which asks for even more trust, because that looks more solid. So how much does she trust her mum? That much. Thank you very much, Bacon. So, that's all the tricks and bits we've got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you've enjoyed the display. We're just going to bring the team in to wave a final goodbye to you. Well, we've got two of the team. I think the rest are coming. And as I said, if you want to come and meet the owners or you'd like to come and meet the dogs, we will be on the benches out just behind the arena here. You are more than welcome. And definitely come and ask Blake what his favourite breed of dog is. You see, the clowns of the terrier world, the biggest softies you will ever meet. Ladies and gentlemen, the East Anglian Staffordshire Bull Terrier Club Agility Display Team. Thank you very much. Well, folks, do keep your seats. We're going to clear the arena now, and we've got heel work to music coming up. One of the most exciting parts of today's programme. You won't want to miss this, folks. So we'll be back with you in just a few minutes when we've cleared the arena and set it for the top 10 heel work to music freestyle handlers in the UK. Don't forget, we're one competition each day, and we started with the freestyle section. 
you won't want to miss it. So we'll be back with you very shortly.